Hello hackers, today I'm going to hack a website and take control over the server, escalate my privileges and become root. And if we render, we get PHP info executed. Voila, we have remote code execution on the server using a unrestricted file upload vulnerability. Welcome back. So here, as you can see, I've run the Linux command pwd for to tell the server, hey, give me the current directory. And the current directory is um, the uploads directory because that's where our file is running. If you're interested in learning more about these techniques, if you are interested in pursuing an ethical hacker career, then I encourage you to head over to academy.thehackerish.com. There you will find online courses that you can enroll to and just find a suitable course for you. It should give you a great start. So um, I just want to see if we could do some code review because we had some questions in a previous video. For example, why the SQL injection in the login portal did not work with one SQL injection payload, but worked with the other. So what we are going to do is ls, I'm doing here a space encoded in URL, just to have a valid URL. And we are going to list the content of the gallery folder. All right, so we have classic PHP files, including the configuration PHP file, which might include credentials to the SQL uh, database. Um, we have database, let's actually add options to give, get more data. It's not, mm, it's not shown properly here. So I think I'm going to directly run this command from the browser for you to see the um, the results. <coughs> so even though this is not uh, super friendly, uh, we can just right click and view the page source and this would give us nice looking web shell output. All right, so remember we had a problem with the SQL injection. So maybe, maybe, just maybe, the logic is behind this file, login.php. So I'm just going to, um, now here the web browser will automatically um, format the URL for me. So I just can type like I'm in, in front of the terminal. So cat login.php, well, not just logging, but uh, we need to go to uh, we need to go one directory above. So this gives us the content of the PHP file. As you can see, it's requiring config.php. That's obvious to connect to the database and bootstrap the initial configuration and um, I don't see any logic here hmm. okay config.php and here we have the name and then sign in and from there just some client-side JavaScript. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. PHP. So we have... Let's see what we have in config.php. Because maybe the logging logic is there. So we have a bunch of functions here. Function redirects. As you can see here, it's taking the URL blindly and putting it in the base URL. So this means that we have an open redirect. 
But we are not after that, actually. We want to see if there is any logic that handles the authentication. So we have some files that are loaded, initialize, DB connection and system settings. There is an inclusion of a certain header.php. Let's look actually for anything that starts with PHP logic. So require once, echo. So we only have these two. So when we run, when we send our request, normally there should be some kind of a form of a model here. Um, where is the login button? So this is the login form. You know what? I'm just going to use a reverse shell to give me some comfort here. Okay, so let's look that up. Reverse shell. I like the ones from Pentester Monkey. And particularly the one that works always for me, this one here. So I'm going to use that. And I'm going to change my listening address to my Kali box. Come on, come on, come on. And we don't want to load. What's happening to you? Come on, I'm in a hurry. Okay, apparently my Kali box doesn't want to load. All right, I'm going to just power it off and then put it up back again. I mean, it has four gigs of RAM. How, how much do you want to run Kali? While we're at it, um, I'm going to just uh, try with the web browser. So we once again list the content and try to see if we can find something that's responsible for the logging page, the logging feature. What about the home, the home page? It's cat, it's content. Um, okay, we have a SQL query here. Yeah, so here we have uh, the connection, but it's fetching the album list. So that's not our page. <coughs> th I still think it's on login.php, but I don't understand though why it doesn't work. I mean, when we were here under gallery login.php, we can log out. And yes, so I think when we send a request, let's try with admin admin. When we send a request, normally we receive something like this. Oh, it's under classes logging. All right. Hmm. Okay, I think I just, uh, I needed just to replay the uh, request to see exactly where I should look. So that would be under gallery classes and then log in. Okay, now we're talking. And under the function login, we extract the post that means values from the post uh, array, which means we take the username and the password. 
we compare it with the md5 hash so this means that the tables the password table is not secure we can easily crack the passwords and um, here is the vulnerable request where username equals and username here and password equals md5 password i need to um, test it um, on the database itself maybe we can do that once we connect to the database yeah why not so let's save it for later and let's continue with our payload to get a reverse shell okay let's hope that this time Kali works and finally all right let's copy our uh, IP address of the VPN and paste it here and then we're going to listen let's try with 4444 hit enter and let's wait eagerly for our reverse shell okay so we've gained a remote code execution but this shell is not good um, I wonder if Python is here it's not Python 3 maybe yes it is so Python 3 please um, upgrade our shell is in the PTY module and spawning a bin bash I love bash and so you should too okay now we have a good bash shell I think we're going to leave it here for now guys um, in the next video we're going to attempt privilege escalation and see if we can um, become root because apparently now we are just www data all right see you there